Harris County voters could go to the polls on the one-year anniversary of Hurricane Harvey on August 25th to vote on a bond to help pay for future flood control projects. That could mean higher property taxes. Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard joins us live from Bray's Bayou in Meyerland, where one flood control project is already underway. Ryan. Keith County leaders are telling us it's really not about Harvey. It's truly about that next storm, the name we don't yet know, and trying to prevent flooding. On the one-year anniversary of the storm that dumped 19 trillion gallons of water on Texas, Harris County voters could go to the polls to vote on a bond package to pay for flood control projects. The money would come from property taxes. I don't have enough money to jack up my house. I have redone it twice. And uh, I'm 89 now, and I'd like to stay there for a little while. But I'm stuck. And I could afford a few more taxes if, if they'd keep the floodwaters out. The county judge says the numbers are not final, but could be for a bond package of about $2.5 billion. He says that would help bring in an estimated $7 billion from the federal government. But right now, no one knows the exact cost per homeowner. But you're not talking about a huge amount uh, because we've got a lot of homeowners. Uh, but the issue depends on how we grow. The money would pay to continue existing projects underway on places like Bray's, White Oak, and Hunting Bayous, as well as on Clear Creek. He said a third reservoir could also be included. August 25th will give us enough time to develop a list, and I think uh, we'll have to work on the logistics about how we gain public input to make sure we've got the right list of projects, especially as it relates to our local projects. So now here's the big question. What is next? We know the county will ask the governor for permission and actually set the date. We're live today. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.